don't forget the angles. Now, this is something that I taught in the old SAT and old PSAT. So the College Board has retained some of its old tricks, which is good for us because we know how to beat them. And so let's take a look at this question, and you'll see what I mean by don't forget the angles in a second. So ABC above is isosceles with AB equaling BC. So we'll fill this in in our picture. AB equals, AB equals AC. And BC is 48. So this whole thing is 48. The ratio of DE to DF, so this guy to this guy, is 5 to 7. So DE to DF. 5 to 7. What is the length of DC? So I want this piece right here. So what do I mean by don't forget the angles? When they tell you a triangle is isosceles, you, they will either tell you, as they do in this case, or you will probably remember that if the triangle is isosceles, the two sides, in this case A, B, and AC, are congruent. Seems reasonable. But what you have to remember is when you have an isosceles triangle, not only are the two sides congruent, but the two base angles are congruent. So in this case, ABC and ACB are congruent. Now, how does that help us? Well, if these two angles are congruent and these two right angles are, of course, congruent because they're both right angles, that must mean each of these angles is congruent based on the uh, setup here, based on the fact that you've got two equal angles. The third's going to have to be equal because they've got to both add up to 180. What you have here then is two triangles with equal angles or two similar triangles. And in some sense, they already kind of hinted at that by telling us that the ratio of ED to DF is 5 to 7. So if these two triangles are similar, then all of their sides are in proportion, and this is the proportion that they're, that they're in. They're in the 5 to 7 ratio. So what we can do is we know then that BD and DC are in a 5 to 7 ratio. So we can say, okay, well, let's call this 5x and 7x. And we know that when we add these two sides up, they've got to add up to 48. So 5x plus 7x is equal to 48. So now I'll just solve this. 12x equals 48. x is 4. So that means this side right here is 20. This side here is 28. Notice this is indeed a 5 to 7 ratio because you could reduce this to 5 to 7. But the actual lengths are 20 and 28. They add up to 48. Now we give them the answer to the question, which is what is the length of DC? It is 28. Choice D. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll. And you can find the link in the description below the video.